everybody. Good morning. It is Susho and I have my matcha, <laughs> uh, a venti, um, and I'm excited here to welcome you to day three of the Go Live Challenge. And for some reason, the video yesterday, um, the replay was not visible to you guys. So I had a few people reach out. Thank you for letting me know because to me everything looked fine. There, were, there was no, like, nothing deleted. Um, I didn't do anything. I could fully see the video on my end in multiple places. So um, if you did not get a chance to see it, just let me know uh, in the comments or just send me a DM and I can send you the link to it on YouTube instead. Um, so how are you doing? How is your day going so far? Have you had your coffee or are you a matcha drinker too? <laughs> um, oh my gosh, if Starbucks takes away matchas, I would be so sad. Yes, they were so good. Um, I do not mind fuel. So today I want to talk to you about, well, a lot of things. Uh, so today is a really, a really fun one. Um, first of all, I'm going to give you the challenge right away. So what I want you to do is talk for three plus minutes. So I'm gonna say three to five minutes. And again, you can use my group as a practice group and then go to your own group and do it as well there. But what I want you to talk about is your business, but with a call to action. So yesterday in day two, you got to talk about your business. Day one was all about introing yourself. Day two was about your business what is it? What lights you up about it? Um, who do you serve? And then today, day three, is the trickiest one for a lot of people. And this is something I coach a lot of my clients on, is how to actually do a call to action where you're not going to feel icky or gross <laughs> or uncomfortable or just whatever. Um, it needs to come from a place of serving. So you need to, to think of it in terms of you're not selling, you're not selling a product, you're not selling a service, but you, it's, you're making an offer. So your call to action could be a lot of things. It could be join my membership program. It could be sign up for my email list. Uh, it could be um, here's a freebie, would you like it? download this freebie. So there's a lot of different call to actions, but I want you to be quick, pick one. Okay. <laughs> Very important. Pick one. So I, I've seen a lot of you guys do this and, uh, some of my clients initially, when they come to me, it, it's easy to do. So sometimes we offer too many call to actions. We say too many call to actions in our, our lives. And then it's confusing. People are like, I don't know which one to do. I'm going to do none of them. And that's exactly what you do not want to happen. So pick one call to action, pick it ahead of time. Okay, important, don't, don't wing this part. <laughs> Even if you're winging the rest of the live, great. But know what your call to action is going to be, write it down, give yourself a little note. You are going to offer this freebie. So write down your sentence um, for your call to action. I have this freebie on 10 tips for breastfeeding if you're a new mom. Um, you know, that, that's, your, that's your freebie. So, uh, you know, who wants it? Drop, drop your, you know, say a me in the comments if you want that. So have an idea of what you're offering before you get on the live. So if it's your membership program, I'm offering a sale right now on my, mem my membership program. Grab 50% off right now um, through this link and then drop the link. Okay, so really clear one thing, one thing, you know, or I have this printable shop. Right now I'm offering a, a fall sale. Go check out my Etsy shop and use the code fall2023. That's a call to action. That's asking them to do something. And all those things felt comfortable. Like they felt comfortable for me to say, they'll, they'll feel comfortable to, for you to say when you practice them. 
call to action could be joining your Facebook group. So maybe you're going live in my group, maybe you're going live on your personal page and you want to entice people to your group. So what's your group about? I have a group on um, how to safely and effectively use CBD products, gummies, to manage your pain and insomnia, you know, whatever. Um, who wants in on that group? I'm dropping the link in the comments. Go check it out. Join my group. So whatever your thing is, think of one call to action and then offer it at the end of your live. So talk about, talk about your business during the live. So talk about what makes it awesome, you know, what, what offering you have that can change the lives or change um, the business, change the health, whatever, of who you're serving. So talk about that for a couple of minutes. What's, what are the benefits? What are the benefits to the people that are watching you? You're excited about your business, so share that. And then at the end, give them a follow-up. Give them a thing to do, a thing to do. Um, okay, so that is your homework. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. And um, part two of this live to you, I want to talk about how do you keep going in your lives? How do you keep going live spontaneously? So you might be great at going live once a week if you have a training, if you have something specifically planned that's 20, 30 minutes, whatever. But how do you consistently go live without just like pressing, you know, go live now and just like staring at the camera or rambling about whatever for 20 minutes? Um, how, do you, how do you stay focused? How do you even make yourself do it when you just have no clue what to talk about? So I talked about trying to go live every day for a week or two weeks, or even if you could do a month, it really will propel your business. It makes a difference if you go live every single day. It does. You don't have to do that indefinitely, but it's a great booster. Just like in my, like I have two blogs, right? I have two, two monetized blogs, uh, thecuriousfrugal.com and I have bestmudcakes.com. And they, if I want to boost traffic to one of them, I will go on a writing blitz. So I, I do not have the time to write a lot of articles per week. I do not at all. Like it's, it's great if I write one per week. Um, but if I want to boost traffic, if, I, if that's my goal for the month, then I will have uh, a write eight, eight posts a month challenge for myself. And I do this also with my clients. You guys know who you are, <laughs> my blogging clients, um, where I challenge them to write a lot, a lot more posts than they're used to writing. And it, it really helps. Um, so this is the same thing with uh, going live every single day. It's not something you have to do indefinitely, but pick a month and just be really consistent. Okay, so my tips in terms of, you, you need to listen up for this in terms of how do you focus every day on not rambling, on showing up and having value every single day if you're going to do these spontaneous lives. What I did at the beginning, I don't do this as much now, but sometimes I do again, is pick a theme, pick a hook for yourself. So I'm gonna give you examples of this. So. You can, if you do tarot cards, you can do that every day. That can relate to your business, okay? So if you happen to do tarot cards, but that's not your business, there is a way to relate it to your business. So think of something else that you like or that interests you and incorporate that into your spontaneous lives. So if you are religious, say you read the Bible, pick a Bible passage every day, relate it to your business or what you are offering. So that gives you, what this gives you is it gives you the anchor of what you're going to talk about spontaneously. So it's already there for you. The Bible was already written, right? 
Um, tarot cards are already there. I, I have clients that help do this. Uh, they, they did animal oracle cards, so they would pick one card. I, I've done this as well. And you share it, you read about it, you interpret it in relation to your business. And that's something you can do every day. It's something you can do every day. It gives you the anchor. That card gives you the anchor. That book gives you the anchor. Um, whatever it is. You know, if it's another another hook could be literally, like if you have any kind of, um, if you talk about self-care or uh, makeup or any, any kind of physical stuff like that, could you literally talk about your business while you are putting on your makeup? And again, it's not even, it doesn't have to be a makeup tutorial. It could just be a way, a, a hook for you and a hook for the people that are watching you. So something that is, is the same, is consistent, um, that you don't have to think about and that you can talk about while you do it. You talk, talk about your business while you're doing it. So some other examples are um, if you have a 365 day, day calendar, read the passage from that day and discuss it in terms of in relation to your business. Or if you have a community for parents, what is one book that just like changed your life in, in terms of that realm? Well, get that book and read, you know, a quote or a passage from it every day and discuss that in relation to your business. So again, nothing really long, like people don't want to read a whole chapter. They don't want to listen to you reading a whole chapter, but pick a paragraph, pick a quote. It can be short. Um, I, I've done this before where I share a quote of the day and then talk about it in relation to your business. So this hook will be what grounds you. And then you will be able to go off on that, hopefully staying on topic with, with your business. So an example from my own business is um, sometimes I've been reading passages from The Mountain Is You. It's all about transforming self-sabotage into self-mastery. So I'm going to show you an example right now. Okay, so we're talking about wanting to change our behaviors and to adopt a new behavior, a new habit. So going live is the new habit that you want to do. You want to go live regularly. You want to get comfortable to go live regularly. Um, but somehow you're stopping yourself or you have been up until now. <laughs> We're changing that, right? Um, okay, so I'm going to read, read a couple of paragraphs here. When we self-sabotage, it is often because we have a negative association between achieving the goal we aspire to and being the kind of person who has or does that thing. If your issue is that you want to be financially stable and yet you keep ruining every effort you make to get there, you have to go back to your first concept of money. How did your parents manage their finances? More importantly, what did they tell you about people who had it and people who didn't? Many people who struggle financially will justify their place in life by disavowing money as a whole. They will say that all rich people are terrible. If you grew up with people who told you your entire life that people who have money are this way, guess what you're going to resist having? Your anxiety around the issue that you're self-sabotaging is usually a reflection of your limiting belief. So what does it mean for you to show up regularly online? That probably is going to mean that you attract more people. More people are going to see you. So is this like you, you have to do the inner work here. <laughs> I can prompt you, but you have to do it. Um, is this a visibility thing for you? Is it uncomfortable being seen? Is it, is it an issue with money? You are actually afraid, not of failing in terms of the live or the offer, the call to action, whatever. Are you afraid of succeeding? Are you afraid of, of making six figures, seven figures? Does that terrify you because that's different from your friend group and 
you know, maybe that would be making more than your husband and that makes you uncomfortable or the idea that your husband might not like that. Maybe nobody in your family makes that much money. So look at the reasons why you're not showing up. So for example, that is my example of how I would relate this passage to you guys. Okay, so think of an anchor for your spontaneous lives and it will make all the difference. So whether that means getting a book that's already in your bookshelf, one that you own, incorporating some kind of morning routine that you do and sharing that with people while you talk about the business. So again, it's not just about like putting your face cream on, right? It's about, that's the anchor, but it's about relating that to your business and what you're, what you're offering, like what you are, are called to serve. So if you are doing a tarot reading, how, how are you relating that to the problems that your audience might have that you can help them with, right? Um, so that's, that's super important. Um, and yeah, let me just check my notes for a sec to make sure I've covered everything. I think I have. Um, definitely when you're watching, give this video a like. And uh, you can type hashtag replay. I really hope that Facebook is being nice today and playing nice and is going to show you the replay. Otherwise, I will have to uh, upload it to YouTube and I will send that around as well. Um, but I've never had that happen before where it hasn't shown my video. Like I know everything is glitchy at times, but I'm hoping that you will be able to see this replay. So um, now I have a, a free offer for you. So if you would like some one-on-one -on -one help to increase your income using Facebook groups. It's absolutely my favorite way of relating to um, my audience and connecting with you guys. And um, it, it's an amazing way to connect with your perfect customers and clients. So if you want one-on-one -on -one help with me to increase your income using Facebook groups, um, and using live video for your business. I'm offering free sessions for people. I will drop the link in the comments and you can get yourself signed up. And it will be uh, an increase your sales and profits coaching session with me. So I'm happy to offer that to you. This is one of my zones of genius is um, using Facebook groups and live video. And again, it doesn't matter what starting point you've come from because this is all learnable. This is all learnable. You can do this too, um, but guidance makes all the difference. So thank you so much for being part of this three-day Go Live Challenge with me. It's been really fun to host you. Um, this is the third year that I've done it. I, I'm loving the, the annual event. I get super excited about it. Um, go live in my group as well and I'd love to see your call to actions, okay? So entice us, pull us in. <laughs> okay, talk to you guys soon.